Welcome. In this video, we are going to show you how to make a 3D character clap. We will show you how to select the proper positioning as well as how to cut the arm off, edit it, and reattach it to the 3D character. As usual, we are going to show you the clip first and then explain step by step how to achieve the same result. Here is the clip. Now that you've seen the clip, let's dive right in. Select the 3D character you will use and customize it as desired. Once you've decided what the 3D character's new action will be, which in our case is the clapping action, you need to consider the character's physical positioning as well as the arm and hand position when clapping. In this case, we want to have the character facing us straight on towards the camera, which is the default position. The arm should be bent at the elbow, and the hand needs to be open in a kind of cupping position. The action that has both of these criteria is the wave action. Next, select the wave action and position the character using the rotation button so that the arm will be in the correct position to create the clapping motion. Once the character is in position, we adjust the arm to be as large as possible, so we get a good resolution when we take our screen capture. We use PicPic to screen cap our image, but any screen cap software is fine. Once you have your screen capture of the arm, import it into your favorite editor and remove the background as we are doing here, we like to use Affinity Designer, which is a vector program. Keep in mind that the arm needs to be reattached to the 3D character, so you'll need to give it the reattachment and pivoting room. Once you're done editing, save your character's arm as a PNG. We only need one arm here because we will simply duplicate the arm and reverse it, since both arms are the same. Now, reset your 3D character's position to the default view, which is the view we decided on at the beginning. And set the character's action to idle. Now we'll need to do some magic and make his arms disappear. To do this, we'll use the Path tool to create an area around the character, paying special attention to the area where the new arms will be attached to the 3D character. The secret here is that you want to create an overlap area so no gaps will appear when the new arms are moving. Turn the Path outline to zero and the Fill to solid black and adjust its time length to match the character. Now click on the character and set its track mat to the path you just created and the type to alpha. Now you need to import the arm that you edited and resize it to the correct dimensions for the character and position it onto his body. Now duplicate the arm and reverse its position. Now 
Next, you need to adjust the anchor point to the area near the top of the shoulder, where it will pivot during the clapping action. Do the same thing for the other arm. Now you need to create the clapping motion. First, the character's right arm. Number one, click on motion. Number two, click on loop. Number three, click on rotation. Number four, check the swing box. Number five, set the number of loops. In this case, our 3D character claps 20 times in a span of 10 seconds. Number six is the amount of rotation you'll need. I found that 25% works well for this clapping action. Next, you'll need to do the same thing for the left arm, but this time you need to set the rotation to negative 25% so that it swings in the opposite direction of the other arm. And there you have it, our character is now clapping. I made a couple of final adjustments to the position of the arms, and that's a wrap. This same technique can be used for almost any action that you can think of, such as singing into a microphone, praying, doing the chicken dance, carrying an object, or anything else. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to receive alerts whenever we post new videos. It helps to keep this station growing. Leave a comment to let us know what you thought of the video and what else you'd like to see.